Hello, welcome to Computer Education for All. Today's topic, in this tutorial, we will learn about programming languages, classification of programming languages, low-level languages, machine language, assembly language, high-level languages, HLLS, procedural and structured languages, object-oriented programming languages, Uses of low-level languages. Uses of high-level languages. Let's start from programming languages. A programming language is a structured and systematic method of communicating instructions to a computer. It consists of a set of predefined commands, syntax, and rules that allow programmers to write instructions, enabling the computer to perform specific tasks or solve problems. It serves as a means of communication between a human programmer and a computer, facilitating the development of software and applications. Programming languages can be classified into two categories, that is, low-level languages and high-level languages. Low-level languages. Low-level language is machine-oriented language. To understand low-level language, detailed knowledge of internal working of computer is required. Low-level languages include machine language and assembly language. Machine language, programming language that is directly understood by computer hardware, is known as machine language. Machine language is associated with architecture of computer. Therefore, programs written in machine language for one computer will not work on another because of design differences. It consists of OS and 1S. It is almost impossible for humans to use machine language because it entirely consists of numbers. Therefore, practically no programming is done in machine language. Instead, assembly languages and high-level languages are used. Assembly language, assembly language, consists of symbolic codes or abbreviations known as mnemonics. It was developed to make computer programming easier than machine language. The abbreviations used in assembly language make it easier to learn and write programs compared to machine language. A program written in assembly language must be converted into machine language before it is executed by computer. A program known as assembler is used to translate assembly language into machine language. Some important characteristics of assembly language are assembly language allows programmers to have access to all the special features of the computer they are using. Certain types of operations, which are not possible in high-level languages, are easily programmed using assembly language. Generally, a program written in assembly language will require less storage and less running time than one prepared in a high-level language. Assembly languages are still the best choice in some applications, but their use is gradually declining. High-level languages, HLLS. High-level languages are English-oriented languages, and they are commonly used for writing computer programs. These languages use English language words such as print, goto, if, end, etc. Therefore, they are easy to learn and use. Some examples of high-level languages are Visual Basic, C, Java, and Pascal. A program known as compiler slash interpreter is required to translate a high-level program into machine language. Coding and debugging of a high-level language program is much easier than a program written in a low-level language. High-level languages can be classified into procedural, structured, and object-oriented programming languages. Procedural and Structured Languages Procedural programming is based upon the concept of modular programming. In modular programming, Programs are divided into smaller parts known as modules. Modular programs consist of one or more modules. A module is a group of statements that can be executed more than once in a program. 
Each module in a program performs a specific task. It is easy to design, modify, and debug a program in a procedural language since it provides better programming facilities. Structured languages consist of three fundamental elements, which are sequence, selection, and repetition. Sequence, it means writing program statements in a logical sequence. Each step in the sequence must logically progress to the next without producing any undesirable effects. Selection, it allows the selection of any number of statements based on the result of evaluation of a condition which may be true or false. Examples of statements that implement selection in programming are if, else if, switch, etc. Repetition, loops. It means executing one or statements a number of times until a condition is satisfied. Repetition is implemented in programs using statements, such as for and while loops. Some examples of structured and procedural languages are Fortran, Pascal, C, Basic, Algol, PL slash 1 and Ada Pascal. Object oriented programming languages. Object oriented programming, OOP, refers to a programming method that is based on objects such as student, vehicle, building, etc. Object oriented programming language provides a set of rules for defining and managing objects. An object can be considered a thing that can perform a set of activities. For example, the object vehicle can be defined as an object that has number of wheels, number of doors, color, number of seats, etc. The set of activities that can be performed on this object include steer, accelerate, brake, etc. Complicated large computer programs are difficult to design, develop, maintain, and debug. The concept of object-oriented programming solves this problem. The most widely used object-oriented programming languages are C++ Visual Basic, C, known as C Sharp, and Java, uses of low-level languages. Important uses of low-level programming languages include Use Explanation Operating system development writing the core software that manages hardware resources Device drivers creating software to enable communication with hardware devices. Embedded systems programming microcontrollers and lot devices for specialized functions. Firmware development developing software that resides on hardware components. Real-time systems ensuring precise timing and responsiveness in industrial control, robotics, and aerospace systems. Security tools building intrusion detection, firewalls, and encryption software for robust security. Game development optimizing game engines, physics simulations, and graphics rendering for performance. Uses of high-level languages. Important uses of high-level programming languages include use explanation, applications, apps, development creating desktop, mobile, and web applications, apps for various platforms. Web development high-level languages are used to build websites, making them interactive and functional. Data analysis and science analyzing large datasets and conducting scientific research. Machine learning and AL developing machine learning models and AL algorithms. Automation and scripting automating tasks and processes, including system administration and data manipulation. Game development, developing gameplay logic, AL, and user interfaces for games. Database management, creating, querying, and managing databases. Scientific and engineering simulations, simulating complex systems and conducting simulations. Business software, developing enterprise-level software for various industries. Educational tools creating e-learning platforms and educational software. For more interesting tutorials, please subscribe, like, share, and comment. Thanks.